everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the Friendly Flamingo Bundle from the 2021 Spring Catalog from Stampin' Up. Um, I have found the cutest treat, the perfect treat to go along with this really fun kind of beachy summer stamp set. It is, are you ready? A Key Lime Pie Kit Kat. I don't know about you guys. I know probably some of you don't like it, but Key Lime Pie is one of my favorite favorite desserts. Um, I get it every time we go to the beach. So when I saw these at my local Walmart, I had to get them. Um, I also love that it matches our granny apple green. <laughs> um, I have a link to these on Amazon. If you can't find them at your local Walmart, they were in the middle section just with a bunch of candy. Um, just, just in the last couple of weeks, I saw them. So if you need to see what they look like or want to buy them from Amazon, there's a link there too. Okay, let's get started. Let's make our box first. You're gonna need a piece of Granny Apple Green. Let me look at my notes. You wanna hop over to my blog to get this PDF. It's free, it's under the last photo. It has all the things I'm gonna use as well as the measurements that we need. All right, an eight and a fourth by 11. Whoops, there's all our pieces. Eight and a fourth by 11 piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. We're gonna score the short side at two and a fourth, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six. Then you wanna turn it to the long side and score it at three, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight. All right, we're gonna do a lot of cutting now. We're gonna cut out each section these corners except for that little square in the middle okay so all the sides i mean all the corners except for that little square that little square is going to hold our little box together okay and well we'll do that afterwards let's, let's get all the cutting done and then i'll show you where to snip your flaps cut all of this Want to stay right in that line, your score line ditch. There we go. Okay, we're down to the last one. All right, so there is what your piece looks like. You've cut a lot of it off, leaving those little squares. Now we're gonna do some snipping on these little squares. On either end, go up and snip them like that, okay? See that? Okay, now we're gonna put this box together, but before we do that, we're gonna do some stamping. Um, let's burnish it because I wanna show you how it's gonna go together so you can figure out exactly where you're gonna do your stamping. All right, so get that bone folder, burnish all those lines, that's gonna help your box go together really nicely. Okay, so our box is gonna fold up like this. And these two right here are gonna fold over. These are the two that you're gonna see um, when the box is closed. So we're gonna use the palm tree from the Timeless Tropical uh, stamp set. And I'm gonna do some trees here and here. So I kinda need to remember which way the trees are so that they're not upside down. So I know that I need to do the trees like this here. So let me grab some scrap paper. I don't know what happened to the grid paper that I had here. And we're gonna stamp these in. We're gonna stamp these palm trees in Granny Apple Green. Okay, so I'm gonna do one. I want them up towards the top really because 
the belly band is going to cover most of that, that bottom part. Okay, so now these we need to do this way. Okay, and I'm actually going to fold it in like this because I want some of the trees to be at the bottom as well so that we can really see them. Okay, let's see, fold all this in or cover it with paper so you don't get it on the parts that you don't want. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at it. That's what it looks like, okay? All right, let's see, what adhesive do I wanna use on this? I think we'll use Tombow. Uh, tear and tape would probably be really good as well. Put, put your adhesive on each square like that, slip it over and fold those squares up into this part down here. Let's see if I fold that back, maybe you can see it better. Okay, now you might need to hold it for a few seconds to get it to stick. All right, let's see, I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds. There we go. Okay, let's fold these up and get that in right there and right there and make sure they're straight and squeeze and hold. There we go. All right, there is our little box and our Kit Kat will fit perfectly inside. Okay, I have decided that I'm gonna put a piece in here like this so we can write our message. You could really use any of the stamps in the stamp set, but since we have that palm tree out, I think I'll just use that. You could use the, the flamingo and just, you know, do the very top of it, or you could use the flowers. I'm just gonna put a little foliage, a little tree on either corner like that. All right. Now you can just write a little something to your friend or whoever you're giving this to. Little birthday treat. These would be great to just keep on hand at work whenever it's somebody's birthday. You can say, I have something for you. These measure three and three fourths by two. Okay, so now we're gonna fold those in first. They overlap and then these guys overlap as well. Let's see, I guess it doesn't matter, whichever way, I think I'll do that way so we can definitely see the top of those trees. All right, so here's our box. Now, I have cut two strips of Granny Apple Green designer series paper, and they are one and a half by six. You don't really need six inches, um, but the paper comes in six inches, so I just kept them that way. You're gonna adhere them together in the middle and then put this around and we're going to fold it over this is makes a belly band okay and then this one and we'll cut those down looks like i'm cutting off about two inches on each end so one and a half by four would probably be plenty and then you're not going to adhere this to the box you're just going to wrap it around and adhere it to itself so that it slides on and off of your box. Okay, our box is done. Let's do our stamping. I have done a little bit of ahead of time. I have cut out a label. This is from the Hippo and Friends dies. I have also cut out a little um, palm, uh, palm frond, and that is from these dies, the Timeless Tropical dies, I believe, or In the Tropics dies. So I've used that to cut that out of Granny Apple. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in, here it is, Granny Apple Green on basic white. And we're gonna use the big message die to cut that out. Now we're also gonna need to cut out a flamingo. The stamp set has a flamingo that you could stamp and cut out, but it also has this die right here. If you don't feel like stamping, you can just cut it out from cardstock. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's move our cut and emboss machine over here. Get everything out of the way. And 
we'll do our we'll do our flamingo first. This there are two different wing dies, and this one has some texture to it, so I like to use this one. Gives a little more interest. There we go. Okay, get those off. And the sentiment, here it is. We're gonna cut it with this die. This is a fantastic die. It is the, called the message die, and it has all these little different labels that you can use. Um, I think we're gonna use this one right here. And just stamp your sentiment on a small piece and line it up. There is, there are going to be two stamp sets actually in the new catalog that's coming out on May the 4th that, that you can stamp and it has all the sentiments already stamped and then you can line this die up with it and it'll cut them all out at the same time. It's really, really cool. Well, I keep knocking it out of the way. Let's see. Come on. There we go. All right, run it through. Woo. Don't worry. That's normal. All right, there we go. All right, we're ready to put things together. Let's bring over all of our pieces. We'll start with our flamingo. And I think I will just put her down flat. Okay. right there and then I'm going to use a dimensional on her wing and I believe we need to use many dimensionals here whoops I just stuck her to the table let's try that again there we go okay and I have this little you know what let's put the sentiment on first so we know where to put that palm front All right, let's put that there, right there, and we will stick this guy back there as well. Let's see, a mini dimensional for him. Stick that in there, kind of over to the side. And last but not least, let's run some ribbon around our belly band. This is the Magenta Madness ribbon. It is retiring, which I'm very sad about because this is awesome ribbon. Tie that on the belly band so it'll just pull off with the belly band. They won't have to untie it. And we will take this guy and put some dimensionals down on either side of that ribbon like that. And put that there. And there you have it, a cute, simple birthday treat. You could make lots of these and keep them around uh, maybe for the summertime birthdays, that key lime is definitely summer a summertime dessert. And I just realized I forgot something. I didn't like how his eye was white. So I took my basic black marker and just filled that in. <laughs> Sometimes it's the little things. All right, you guys, make sure you hop over to my blog and grab that PDF. It's free. It's there for you. Um, it has two other fl uh, friendly flamingo projects as well. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.